Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Inizor Education. Um, today we will solve, um, well, rather famous uh, logical problem, which is called Einstein's riddle. Um, Einstein's riddle is um, the logic number, logic problem number seven, in the course Math Plus and Problems, in the um, uh, chapter dedicated to logic. So basically. Um, every lecture on this website, unizor.com, has the video and textual presentation. So if you want to, to go to this particular page on the website, you, you go from the website to Course, Math Plus and Problems, choose in this particular case uh, the, uh, the chapter called Logic, and the logic number seven would be that particular um, uh, Einstein's r riddle. There is a reference to the video part and the textual part. Um, in some cases, maybe if you uh, watch the lecture, maybe it's not really necessary to, to read the textual part. In this particular case, I think I would rather recommend you to, uh, to read it. So, um, it's basically an explanation what is exactly this particular problem is about and a very detailed um, solution which I will present here uh, as, as, as a lecture and also is presented in the textual part on the, on the same page of uh, unisor.com. Okay, so back to the problem. Um, uh, m maybe uh, it's really Einstein's riddle. I, quite frankly, I don't know the historical uh, background. Maybe he used it to, um, uh, to, to basically challenge his students. I, I don't know. But in any case, it's a very um, kind of famous logical problem, and it's not easy. However, with uh, a systematic uh, approach, uh, it, it's a little bit lengthy, but definitely not uh, outside of the uh, world of uh, achieve, uh, achieving. So we will definitely get get a solution to this problem. So here is the problem. There are five houses which are on the street. Left to right, we will basically number them, one, two, three, four, five. In each house, uh, there is a person of certain nationality, Brit, Swede, Dane, German, and Norwegian. Each house is painted in some color, red, green, white, yellow, and blue. Um, in each color, the, the person who lives there, who owns the house, drinks certain uh, drink tea, coffee, uh, milk, beer and water. In each house the person who lives there calls, um, he, he smokes uh, uh, some kind of uh, cigars um, uh, Pellmel, Dunhill, Bland, Blue Master and Prince. And in every house the owner keeps a pet uh, we have dogs, birds, cats, uh, horses, and fish. Now, there are certain statements about who lives where and what kind of a relationship between these um, uh, nationalities, colors, drinks, smokes, and pets uh, are. Now, these statements I have um, put into this table. It's 15 statements, and based on these statements, we have to basically determine who lives where, who, who what uh, drinks, what kind of a drink, uh, what kind of cigars smokes, and uh, mm, what kind of pets keeps. Um, so, I will first read all these um, relationships between the components, just one after another. Uh, and they seem to be, you know, quite... Um, common, I would say, um, but to determine whether it's sufficient or not to uh, basically find out where, who, who lives where and uh, who keeps which, which particular um, pet, uh, doesn't seem to be obvious. But however, as I'm saying, um, uh, I said that systematic approach will really help. So, what kind of relationship uh, we know about this particular thing? 
we know that Brit lives in the red house, Sweet keeps dogs, Dane drinks tea, um, the house which is painted green is to the left of the house which is painted white. Uh, we have the, uh, the person who lives in the greenhouse drinks coffee, uh, the person who uh, um, smokes uh, palm oil uh, keeps the birds. We know that the house, um, the person who lives in the yellow house smokes downhill. We know that the person who lives in the third, in, in the middle house, middle is basically third, house drinks milk. We know that Norwegian lives in the first house. Uh, we know that the person who uh, smokes blend uh, keeps cats. No, sorry, is next to the person who keeps cats. We know the person who uh, keeps horses is next to the person who um, uh, smokes downhill. We know that the person who smokes Blue Master drinks beer. Uh, we know the German uh, smokes Prince. We know Norwegian is next to the Blue House. And we know that the person who uh, smokes Bland is next to the person who drinks water. I mean, these are really something which you really uh, be analyzing yourself uh, when it's written, not whatever I just said, and that's why I'm suggesting um, if you wish to really challenge yourself, pause the video here, go to the textual part, go to Unisor, go to Math Plus and Problems course, choose the logic and then the logic number 7 and it's presented in the very beginning of the textual um, explanation before the solution. Now I will go right now with the solution and uh, I will present the solution uh, in the table. So I will have uh, five houses. I will have mm -hmm. Okay, so I will have here this table. Now I will have the line, so this will be house number one, two, three, four, and five. Now I will have nationality here. I will have color of the house here. I will have drink here. I will have smoke here. And I will have a pet here. So I will fill, fill up this table using these statements. Um, and uh, gradually, uh, uh, my purpose is to completely fill up this particular table. Okay, so let's get back to business, and now we are actually talking about solution to this problem. So I have to use whatever I have. I have these statements. Now, I will start with something which is very obvious. We have the statement number eight, which is the middle house is where the milk is, uh, is, is basically drinking. So drink is in the uh, third house. So I will put milk here. That's obvious. Now, another very easy thing is the condition number nine, that Norwegian lives in the first house. So here I will have, have Norwegian. Okay, so that's easy. Next. Next, I will pay attention to the uh, statement number 14, that Norwegian lives next to the blue house. Now, Norwegian in the first. So next to the first, 
is only the number 2. So number 2 is blue. Okay? So I will fill up with blue. So these are kind of easy things. Well, let's go to the next level. And what's very important in this particular problem is to find out what you want to analyze next. Because if you will make the right decision, what can be analyzed right now, then you will find out the solution kind of easy. And that's what probably the most important and most difficult part of this problem. So the next what I would like to analyze and find out is the color of the first building, uh, the first house. Well, it's definitely not blue, right? Because uh, it's already taken. That's number, that's number two. So, what kind of color can it be? Now, what do I know about different colors? I know that brick lives in the red house. That's condition number one. But I have an region in the first. So, it's definitely not red. Okay? So, it's not red and not blue. Next. Next, I know um, that um, it cannot be white. Why? Because there is a condition um, condition called uh, 4, I believe. Yes, 4. Now, the house which is painted green should be next to the house which is painted white. So, basically, it cannot be green and cannot be white because the next is blue. So, if it's green, then this must be white. If it's white, there is nothing on the left of it. So, basically, it's not blue, it's not red, it's not green, it's not white. So, what's remaining? Well, remaining yellow. So, that helps yellow. That helps to determine the color of the house number one. Okay, so that's kind of a logic which you really should apply in this case. But again, as I said, what's important is to properly task yourself. And the task in this particular case was, okay, I think I can determine the color of the house number one, and I have sufficient amount of information to basically uh, negate all other colors, and yellow will remain. Okay, great. So that's done. Next. Now, considering I have already yellow, I have condition number seven, that the person who lives in the house painted yellow drinks downhill. So, I know the yellow, so now I have a smoke. Downhill. Okay. Next. Um, next, here is number 11. The uh, house, since I have this downhill, now I can use it. Now I'm thinking what exactly is known about downhill. Aha, uh -huh. number 11. The person who keeps horses lives next to the person who, uh, who smokes downhill. Okay, next means only to the right because it's number one. So the next person would be uh, the one who keeps horses as a pet. Horses. So you see, gradually we have to use whatever we have already determined to go to the next step. That's what's important. Okay, so we've done with horses. Next. Next is we can determine now the drink of uh, uh, the person who lives in the first house. So what kind of a drink it can be? Well, for, first of all, it's not milk, which mil milk is already taken for the house number three, for the middle house. So it's not milk. Next. Um, I have condition number three. Dane drinks tea. Now, we have the region, so it's definitely uh, not tea because the tea is drunk by the region, by, by, the, by Dane, okay? So it's not tea. Now, we have condition number five. Greenhouse is the one which, uh, where the person drinks coffee. Now, our house is yellow. So, it cannot be coffee. So, it's not tea, it's not coffee, it's not milk. What else? Um, number five. 
the person who lives in the greenhouse drinks coffee. Again, our house is not green, it's yellow, so it's not coffee. All right, so it's not coffee, it's not tea, it's not milk, uh, it, it's not... Um, uh, it's not beer because of 12. Uh -huh, the person who smokes Blue Master drinks beer. So this guy smokes downhill, so it's not beer either. Neither. So the only thing which remains is water. So these are our drinks. Tea, coffee, milk, beer and water. So it's not tea, not coffee, not milk, not beer, so it must be water. So you see, sometimes we using the positive logic, like for instance, in the very beginning, the middle house uh, is the one where people drink milk. Okay, that's the positive logic. In this case, we were using negative logic. It's not that, it's not that, it's not that, it's not that, so it might be whatever remains out of these five choices. Okay? All right, so we have determined the water. All right, let's go next. Next, we can determine a smoke. Now we go to the number two, and we can determine the smoke of this number two. How? Okay, we have condition number 15, that the person who smokes blend uh, is next to the person who drinks water. Now, we have the water. So next to it is only this one. So the smoke of this house is um, 15 uh, no, uh, uh, blend. Okay, so smoke, the person who uh, smokes blend next to the person who drinks water. So smoke must be here, so the blend. So this guy in, number, in, the, in the house number two um, smokes blend. Okay, fine. All right, what's next? Next, I think we can determine nationality of the person who lives in the second um, house. Okay, what can it be? Well, obviously it's not Norwegian, which we have already uh, done. Next, it cannot be Brit, because the Brit lives in the red house, and this one we have already determined is the blue one. So it's not Norwegian, not Brit. Next. Now, the number two, Swede, keeps dogs. Now, this guy keeps horses, so it's not Swede. Um, next, number 13, German smokes Prince. Now, this guy smokes Blend, so it's not German. So, who is remaining? Not Brit, not Swede, uh, not German, not Norwegian, so it's only Dane remaining. So, again, negative logic gives us the nationality of the house number two, uh, the person who lives in the number two, which is Dane. Okay. All right. As you see, we are gradually filling out uh, our table by using either positive or negative logic. Next. Next, after nationality, we can apply condition number 04 that the green and white um, are next to each other. So, the green and white are next to each other. We have three remaining um, houses uh, without the color. So, green and white might be together, green to the left of white. So, it's either these two or these two. Now, let's think about it. <coughs> Condition 05. The person who lives in the green house uh, drinks coffee. So if green and white are here, then the person who lives in the green house drinks milk. So that contradicts our condition, condition number five, that the person who lives in the green house uh, drinks coffee. So it must be these two. So we already determined, therefore, that this is green and this is white. Okay, so that's, that's a big step forward, obviously. Now, um, what remains as a color for uh, house number three? 
all four, four colors are, bit, uh, are already taken, so this must be red, the only remaining color. We have only five colors to choose from. Okay, next. Next, uh, we can use the number one condition that brick lives in the red house. Since we have already determined the red, now we have the nationality of this guy who lives in the third house as a Brit. Okay, so that's a lot. Number five, greenhouse, green coffee. Yes, we already talked about this. The person who lives in the greenhouse, that's number five, uh, drinks coffee. So we have green here, so we have coffee here. Okay. Next. <coughs> next. Uh, next. We have. Uh, Uh, drink, 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 drink. What kind of drinks we have? We have water, milk, and coffee. What remains? Tea and and beer. Okay. What do we know about tea? Dane drinks tea. Okay. So we have Dane here. So the tea must be here. This is condition number three. So this is tea, and then the remaining is beer for number five. Okay, so we have the tea and we have the beer. Okay, what's next? A12, smoker of Blue Mountain drinks beer. Uh huh, number 12, yes, Blue Mountain, Blue Master, sorry. Blue Master, uh, smoke Blue Master is um, the one who drinks beer. So we have beer here, so smoke Blue Master must be here. Okay, so far so good. You see, we are gradually filling it up quite successfully. What's next? You see, I'm using something which I have prepared beforehand when I was solving this problem myself. And I did, by the way. I did not really look into any kind of a website or whatever. <coughs> so, it's important to basically put your thoughts in some sequence. And this is the proper sequence. What's next? Um, so we have Blue Master. Now, German smokes Prince. Uh, and uh, so German must be. Okay, so. Uh, there is no Prince here. But this is Brit. So it, it, Prince cannot be here because that would be the brick, brick uh, smoke sprints. Now, uh, German cannot be here because the German um, smoke sprints and this is Blue Master. So the only proper position would be for German to be here and for Prince smoke would be here. Right? Because if, if we put German here, it would contradict the fact that he, d he, he smokes Prince. So German must be here, and therefore Prince would be here. And what remains for smoke for the Brit was our list. Uh, Palmel. Palmel. Okay. Almost finished, right? Okay. Um, so we have German, we have, okay, sweet keeps dogs. Uh, so this number five obviously remains to be for sweet because all other nationalities have already been taken. And we have uh, sweet keeps dogs, that's condition number two, so we can put dogs here. So we're filling out the pets. Okay, what's next? Um, 
smoker of okay number six smoker of the uh, palm oil keeps birds where is my palm oil palm oil here so that's the birds so what's remaining cats and fish okay so what's known about cats the person who uh, smokes blends uh, is next to the person who keeps cats where is my blend blend is here so the next to this building is either this or that this that's already determined so this must be cats and the remaining is fish and basically the original uh, question original statement which is kind of present was presented in the problem was uh, the question was who keeps the fish so the fish is kept by German in the uh, house number four painted green and he drinks coffee and smokes prints and keeps the fish as a pet and that's the end of solution so again let me just remind you that the most important part was to determine what can you determine so once you uh, uh, first kind of obvious things are already taken like the first one was that the middle house is the one where people drink milk so that's immediately gives you this or Norwegian lives in the first house okay that's also immediate everything else should use the information which you have already come up with to come to the next level well basically that's the answer to Einstein riddle um, I hope you enjoy it and what I believe is very important right now um, after you have watched the lecture have a clean uh, uh, paper and uh, draw this empty table um, on a separate uh, piece of paper write down in this relatively abbreviated form um, the uh, conditions which are known about this I have used vertical bar to um, uh, express the fact that this is things related to the same person so Brit you see vertical bar red I use dash in one particular case when I know that the greenhouse is next to the white house so the horizontal dash represents this and I use um, a slash a straight or, uh, or a backsla uh, backslash as something which, you repli uh, which uh, is, is supposed to um, define the neighboring kind of relationship for example the person who um, smokes blend is next to the person who drinks water so I put blend uh, backslash and water so this is abbreviated um, way of expressing the conditions of this problem it's kind of easy instead of the whole complete statement I do have a complete statement in the, um, the description on the unisor.com uh, next to the lecture but abbreviated is much better because now you see basically what exactly you can use for example oops I have just determined for example Norwegian okay is Norwegian somewhere else well no maybe milk somewhere else also no maybe something else is known well known something like a color or whatever so that's what that's how you should seek what's the plan of your attacking of this particular problem okay so that's it for today I hope you enjoyed it and again it's very important for you to try to solve it yourself just with more or less the same kind of logic maybe a little different which I have suggested thanks very much and good luck